Suppose you have to solve the following equations and you can only use the methods that have been covered so far. Then in each of these we would have to subtract in order to get zero on one side and a quadratic expression in descending order. So we've got the standard form of a quadratic equation on the right side. Then we would have to factor. Uh, some of you may have learned the AC method and grouping. However, in each case, the 9 and the 16, they're perfect squares. And we can factor using the difference of squares formula. On this one, we would get the quantity x plus 3 times the quantity x minus 3. And that's equal to 0. 16 is 4 squared. So, if you need, rewrite this this way to realize what we would be plugging into the difference of squares formula. We'd get the quantity x plus 4 times the quantity x minus 4, and that's equal to 0. Well, in each case, then we would have to apply the zero factor property. If a times b is equal to zero, either a is zero or b is zero. Now we get two simpler, uh, relatively speaking, uh, two linear equations out of this and subtract 3 on the first one add 3 on the second one remember that since these are the same size but different signs we can abbreviate that as x equaling plus or minus 3 Both of those check. Obviously, 3 squared is 9, but with the negative 3 squared, negative 3 times a negative 3, those two negatives are going to cancel out. Give us a positive. Nine. Same thing's going to happen on the other one. It's going to uh, we're going to get two solutions that are the same size but opposite in sign, i.e., they're the same absolute value, and both of those will check and those solutions are going to be positive and negative 4 for this one Automatically, people are going to ask, well, why didn't you just take the square root? Square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 16 is 4. We're going to address that next.